Hello, Wanda here. Happy mermaiding! It's time, it's time, it's time. I'm excited. I feel like I have the sneezes though. Oh no. Right in time for live. Huh? Hello everyone. Yay, it's mermaid day. Are we excited? Woohoo! Hi, Bambi. Okay, I gotta mess around with the camera for a minute. I'm sorry. Hi, Lonnie. Hi, Lori. Oh my gosh. Hello, everyone. I gotta find me online. Why can I never, ever find me? There's me. Okay, got the sound down, so we're all good. It even gave me directions. Swipe left for comments. <laughs> Hi, Judy and Sarah and Loretta and Carol. Oh, my gosh. Come on in, everyone. Wow. Hello. How are we feeling tonight, everybody? Happy Friday. So, Katie's going to jump on with me. We're going to have split screen live doing sweet mermaid so let me talk to you a minute about what I'm going to be using tonight um, while we're waiting on Miss Katie I'm going to be using the watercolor palette that I created uh, I don't know a couple months back if you don't know what this is there is a tutorial for it so we can hook you up with that after the show <laughs> anyway so this is a bunch of them and I'll be working with this for my mermaid skin and hair and then in the background I'm Matt and Janet and Karen I'll be using King Art woodless watercolor pencils hi Jennifer good day Matt is it Matt and Janet who is it Janet or Matt Matt and Janet who's with us and I'm going to be using Born Pretty. I believe they call them the Chrome Powder Kit, but it's their shell powder. Hey, Janet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so it's the shell powders by Born Pretty, but I think the search is under. Also, I gave Julie a great big list of all of these things. So if you guys are wanting links, she's got those. Uh, hi, Marie. Let's see, what else? Oh. We're going to be rubber ducky, you're the one. We're going to have a bubble bath. I'm just kidding. No bubbles tonight. We're doing a big mesh mermaid tail. So I'm going to be using a tip from Lonnie Giroux. Oh my gosh, you guys. Amazing tip. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, oh, you know, common sense and I, I lose that, so... Thank you so much, Lonnie, for, you know, <laughs> bringing it back to me. I wanted to show you guys, there's an easy way. I, that's how I was doing it. But you can take these things apart. And also, these are at Dollar Tree for like a dollar for two or four or something like that. So don't be me. Don't go to Amazon and buy four for six bucks because that's ridiculous. See this rope in here? You just cut it. Boom. Open. And... It's tangled. <laughs> okay, so boom. <laughs> uh, death to the Tarpoof. <laughs> You're right. Hi, Kate. Oh my gosh, can somebody tag Katie? Where is Katie Thompson? Julie, will you tag, tag Katie? Where's my girl? Hope she's all right. Oh, look, that's separate. How funny is that? Yeah, okay, so there's 14, there's 1,100 miles of this stuff in a bath poof. <laughs> okay, finally got rid of that. Seriously, watch. You guys ready? <laughs> so we're not even halfway through it. So if you buy one, you'll have enough for the rest of your life. Okay? <laughs> So all you need is just 
like one little section down here okay and that's a lot but now you can put this in a drawer and use it for your Halloween costume when you're because you know you're going as a mermaid right <laughs> I'm really worried about Katie. This is very not like her. Um, let's see. Lori, will you tag Katie too? Julie, thank you. All right, I guess we're going to go on. She'll make it, I'm sure. How's that made? This? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'll get to that later. Just have your little section ready. <laughs> okay, I'm plugging in batteries that way. Okay, guys, pause just for a sec. Let me just check something really quick. Make sure she's not trying to get me in Messenger or anything. No, I don't see her. Okay. Okay. All right, so we are going to start with lining, and I'm going to use Posca for the main line, and then the tail, hi Cindy, is going to be with the Dollar Rowney ink. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my line, watch my pen not work, <laughs> get my lining done here. And I'm using Posca. It's probably bigger than I would like for this line, but I want you guys to know that you don't have to have all of these tools, you know. You can use what you have. If you don't have watercolor neon, just use regular kids watercolors, really. Skin color is created basic colors. We're going to be using a pink and an orange, so that would be like a red and an orange, a yellow and a blue for skin. I know that sounds crazy, but that's the colors we're using. We're using these right here and yellow, and that makes that crazy, right? Going to have some color theory up in here. Where is my Katie? Okay. So, she's probably going to have a beard now. <laughs> I was going to have this part done, but I really wanted you guys to see the whole process here. Yes, please, 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 Julie, think, oh, wait, I got someone asking to come in. There she is, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do without her. You know, it's probably like technical difficulties or something. It says it's adding her. I'm not sure what is happening. <laughs> gotcha. I missed you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm late. I'm late. It's okay. Oh, yeah. I was I was having a um, little panic attack. <laughs> oh, no sound. Oh, no. Julie's saying no sound. Well, I hear you. I hear you. Can anybody else hear me? Okay, it's all good now. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. All right, we're good. So I'm basically doing, you probably already lined, right? Yes. Okay. Well, good. I was just going over with them the uh, products that we're going to be using tonight. I went over the okay. ones that I'm using. Do you want to talk about what you're using while I'm uh, doing my lines? First of all, I just want to say I'm super sorry for being late. Um, Wanda had given me this purple silicone mat, and I brought it in and put it somewhere and promptly forgot where I put it. So I've been tearing up the house trying to find it, and I finally found it. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, we're going to be working on a silicone mat. forgot to tell you that part. <laughs> sorry. I... I'm going to try to do the skin like Wanda's going to do. Um, I've never done it blending colors like that before. 
but I'm going to give it a shot. If it's not working well, I'm going to switch over to my alcohol ink um, markers by Ohuhu. So she, she actually made this for me, so I'm prepped and ready with the neon colors. And then for my sky and my water, I'm using Derwent ink tints. And I'm going to use Lagoon, Sea Blue, and Iris Blue for the sky. I like it. It sounds pretty, like somewhere I'd want to be. <laughs> and um, I have a little rhinestone thingy that I'm going to use for between her shell area. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, what else? Between her shell. I have my net, some rhinds or some uh, charms. Beautiful. Um, is there any? What am I missing? I don't think. I'm not. I don't think anything. No. I was. Uh, I don't know why I felt like there was. Oh, more, I no. didn't pick any colors for her hair. Oh. There you go. Um, I was going to go with blues and greens, so and I don't I like my hair color, so. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with uh, purples and pinks. I have a um, messed up thing down here. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to do uh, fuchsia and I think deep violet because I want it to be a deep dark violet. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Chesticles. Ah! Yeah, finally you say it. I thought, what's going on here? We're not seeing it. What's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I think that's the colors I'm going to go with. So, I got the hair. The tail, we're doing uh, chrome powder or uh, shell nail powder, in which I'm using. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to use. Oh, I pulled them out already. See, I did some prep work. I'm going to use um, teal, blue, and possibly some yellow. That's pretty awesome. That. Do you remember that sequin you pulled out for between the testicles? Did you show that? I missed it. I know we were. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Do you know where I got it? Yes. From that strip of stuff that Lori sent. Yes. And it it's a little big, but I figured it still is cute. It's perfect, actually. So it comes oh, on and, a strip like this, and you can pick it up at Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. Thank so, you. Oh. And then these are the little glitters I'm going to use on the tail if we do that part. Okay. It's kind of a purpley green tealy color. I have moved my scissors 500 times now. I don't know yet. All right, so now we get out the big daddies. <laughs> All How's right. everyone doing tonight? Besides me being frantic, sorry. Oh, don't be frantic. It's, we're all good. Oh, I was, I was just frantic because I couldn't find that mat. I think oh. I left my screen capture. Yeah. So we're going to use uh, this. Oops, I need a littler pen for her little face details. <laughs> sorry. So I'm going to switch uh -huh. over. I'm going to switch over to Micron 01. Mine is, uh, I'll tell you, the largest part is a little over seven long and five up and down, which worked really great because I was able to print a five by seven oh, good. to trace her. I started out trying to draw it myself, and um, her face was questionable, so 
I decided to try to print it out and trace it. Nothing wrong with that. I'm so happy that your print, you could got it out. Although I did like the other one. <laughs> <laughs> they had, she had some very large eyes and very large lips. <laughs> She's a fish. She has fish lips, right? Do we do fish sticks? Fish sticks. I mean, fish lips. Fish sticks. <laughs> hey, last time it was fish flakes. Do you guys remember? <laughs> I had fish flakes uh, when I was showing them the fish yeah. flakes. I mean, the. See, I can't even see it now. <laughs> so this oh, is Jennifer. <laughs> I'm sorry you had issues. Well, Wanda has the best printer because she can just change the size like on the printer and print it out. Um, but my printer is not like that. And so I went in and had to edit it. But thankfully, it gave me options of five by seven, little tiny ones. It gave different sizes. And it just so happened my rock was five by seven and it worked. So I got mm -hmm. lucky. But my next printer will be one like Wanda's, so I can just do it with with the printer. I have an HP. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't be going out and buying printers, y'all. <laughs> no, Julie, no. Put it, put the printer down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but but Wanda needs to upgrade anyway, so. Don't get the printer that she has. <laughs> this is true. Don't buy the one I have. Yes, it's outdated. I don't even think it's available anymore. And it eats ink, so. It's hungry. I saw, say, I saw a printer at Walmart, actually. It, for everything that it does, is not. it was like $97, but I don't remember the brand, if it was HP or Canon. Um, but it looks like the type that would do what Wanda's does, but I don't know for sure. But I was just, we happened to be at Walmart and checked it out. So these back fins here that I'm uh, drawing in right now, we're actually gonna leave these on the transparent side and we're gonna be doing like some raised, ridgy, bumpy areas, yay. We're not gonna bring it off the rock like 3D, not like the wings, but we're gonna make it textured 3D, if that makes sense. Wow, my hair's a little uh, wonky here, but. <laughs> so Katie's is all smooth and beautiful. <laughs> all right, hello everyone again. I'm ready to do some skin. We ready? Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Let me try to get my camera a little closer real quick. Okay. So I'm using my homemade watercolor palette. If you don't have that, you can definitely use regular watercolor. Um, and um, mix your own skin tones out of those. Actually, it's quite, it's quite easy, you know, with the natural watercolor. Sorry, I'm out of shot there. So you can definitely use regular watercolor. Is that a little better up closer like that? Can y'all see it better? Yeah. Oh, you have a laser printer. Oh my gosh, that is like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with just a bit of, this is the darker color magenta. Oh, I was gonna show you guys because some of you bought the neon, right? The neon pigment powder. So I'm just gonna turn my set over. So right now, I've made watercolors, so I've mixed it with gum arabic and then let them set. So that is this one right here. I know it looks weird, huh? Not even, <laughs> but it is, that's this one. So I'm just adding a little of that to my palette just to get a base going. And then I'm grabbing a little orange, uh, this one right here. And they don't have names, so. So you're looking for a pretty orange color right here, okay? 
about like that. And then you're going to grab just a tad bit of blue and mix in with it. Keep grabbing a bit more until it tones down to where you would like it to be. And then a little yellow to bring it back to skin color. And there we are. Oh, my brush just sucked up all my color. On TV, it looks green. How crazy. Is this, <laughs> I promise you, it's skin color. <laughs> it's, it's what I would consider a light uh, tone, like a medium tan. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to start just laying down this color pretty much everywhere. we're going to come back in and do contouring. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. Oops. So I'm putting it everywhere, pretty much. Just a very light coat. Just tinting the rock. Yes, I have invisible paint. Dude. <laughs> I told y'all this was scary for me because it's okay. Take your time. It's not, um, it's weird when you think of neon making, you know, a skin tone, but it works so good. So, okay. Now you said at this point to add yellow in. Yeah. Did you add the blue? Yes. Yep. Yeah, add yellow to bring it back to like a tan color. Yeah. Maybe a little more yellow. Or add some more water just a bit. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so now, Julie, um, these colors that I used to mix this were magenta, orange, and blue, and then added yellow to bring it back to skin tone. I'm switching my brush and going to a smaller one now that I have it mixed. Ooh, yeah. Probably a round pointy tip. Yeah. Nice. See, pretty good, huh, Katie? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it. If you need to add, you know, pink back into it, grab, just grab some pink and mix it on the rock. It works really good. Watercolor is super forgiving. And you can take it right back off, yep. So I'm going to add some magenta to the cheek. I'm gonna add some water. <laughs> right, right now she's a clown, <laughs> don't panic. <laughs> it's good to keep working with it um, while it's uh, still wet, while you have a wet palette so you can move your color around real easy. Back to you. cheeky cheeky. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get my darker color over here, which is magenta, orange. You're basically just doing the same thing, but darker. There you go. And then this is going to be our 
shading shadow. There's a little more blue in there. So it's kind of a gray skin color now for the shadow, which will be the ear under the chin. Around the hair in the on the eye brow bone. Hi Joan. chin line and then in where you think you would see some creases shadows crease of the elbow belly button under the arm here where it would be shadowed And then hands are a bit redder than the rest of the body. So I always usually wait to do those till I'm working with the shadow colors. Now I am not great at skin obviously, but this is how I manage to do mine with watercolor. I have a real hard time doing it with acrylic, so. Now foreheads have a nice highlight on them, so what I do is go in with a clean, damp brush and lift out color to put the white back in. So the highlight goes back in there. Tippy top of the brow bone, the bridge of the nose, Above the lip, right under the lip, and the collarbone area, you know, where the sun would be shining on our mermaid. And that's about what I would do. Looks good, Katie. Oh my gosh, I love it. My girl needs more tan, huh? <laughs> She's not really a mermaid. <laughs> well, she started out a little yellow. I'm being conservative because I have a tendency to go major orange. <laughs> major. Now, how did you do the lighter? The lighter? Oh, I took, I rinsed my brush out completely. Uh-huh. And dried off basically got it just left it a little damp and then I just removed the color off of her just oh, okay uh, I pulled up some color just by touching the rock where I wanted highlights isn't it is so beautiful Katie oh my gosh yes see that's it I gotta come in and do more <laughs> Gorgeous. So, do her forehead and a little bit on her nose. Mm -hmm. I think I did too much. 
it'll all work out because against the white rock, it looks crazy right now, but it will go, I promise. It looks good. I'm going to be using um, the dollar roundy in black on the tail and it's going to be completely black except for the flip what is that the fin tail fin <laughs> hi Joan and Terry Well, I tried to freehand mine, but uh, it didn't work, so I went with a stencil. <laughs> oh, I forgot her belly. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I like this ink. I know I keep saying it because it dries so fast. It's so cool. And it's like one coat done. <laughs> Waterproof and color fast. And it's acrylic ink. So totally workable with acrylic paint. You can add it to your black to thin out your black. Are you going to, what's okay. that, babe? I was just, I didn't know if you were going to go all the way up to this tip right here, or if you're going to do the V, but then I looked up and saw the V, so. Here? Actually, I, w I was thinking about going up with the bump just now, like that. Yeah. I like that better. What do you think? Yeah. Hi, Shay. All right. Now that her face is dry, I'm going to go back in here. And redefined her eyes. I gotta get a different pen. Use a number three micron. Oh, what is going on with my pens? It's alive. <laughs> That's right, it's live, so you know. There is some weird, like, uh, Newton's law with life. I don't have the ink yet, so I used a Posca. Okay, I'm going to use the same magenta that I just mixed for her lips. And I'm going to do blue eyes, I know. <laughs> just going to color them.
like a black blue kind of real dark I know, right? Posca is pretty amazing. Katie, that is a great, I love, I love Posca. I just don't have the big one. I only have the little nib. I need to get colors of Posca. I don't, yes, I do, right? <laughs> I need to come into 20, what century are we in? Is Joan talking about your ink? I'm not sure. Yes. Yes, Joan. Yes. I'm sorry. Are you talking about the low Cornell pen? <laughs> yes, you can use it. I do have a recipe though that I prefer because the ink alone dries down here too fast. So it plugs. So what I like to do is for some reason, you would think it would plug even worse, but apple barrel, like one drop of apple apple barrel, one drop of the ink, and a drop of water. Mix them, you know, here, that's what that was. Mix them there, and then draw it up with your watercolor brush and, you know, drop it into your little Cornell. Uh, same way, uh, amazing, amazing liner. Yes. Yes. So I would say yes, if you want to mix it with a little acrylic. I like apple barrel because it is watery. It's a very thin acrylic paint. So the black is very matte, very thin. I prefer that. I don't, when I'm working with thick paint, I like to be on canvas, but on rocks, I like thinner, thinner paint. But that's me. It's totally preference, you know. But in the low Cornell, you need it to be inky, thin inky. You're welcome. So you know, I'm not the world's greatest at skin, so she's <laughs> she might need to go in the sun tanning bed a little, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> she's a little white, but we're gonna go with it because if I fuss with it, she will turn into an orange. So I'm going to add white to her eye with a gel pen. And I'm gonna use if it's working. Signo Broad White Gel Pen. All right. All right, I'm going to go with blue and green hair. <laughs> yep. And I wanted to remind you guys, we're working with neon here. So the cool thing about neon, can you see? it glows so when we're done we're gonna have one heck of a glowing rock and it's gonna be a missing <laughs> also this color here it's clear neon and it comes with the set so if you did get that set it looks white it's actually clear and you can make anything glow with that when I say glow it's you have to have a black light or a UV light right but watch we're gonna make some disappearing ink <laughs> or secret ink right I'm gonna write a uh, message here are you using the um, neon colors for the hair yeah. Hi, Allison. I answered for Wanda. Okay, well, let that dry, which you guys probably saw what that wrote. 
Let that dry and then we'll reveal it in a moment. <laughs> okay, so for the hair, I'm going to use blue. Neon. And I'm just going to lay down a whole wash of the blue first. Hi, Allison. I don't know why, but I have no commentary on my screen, on my um, iPad. I can see it on my phone, but not on my iPad. So there's the base, the blue, just giving it some color. And then I'm going to go back and deepen. Give it some shadows and depth. <clears throat> I need to learn the lingo on here. I I don't I can't answer some of these questions. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. What <laughs> My bad. I can't see the comments very well. Um That's okay. What did I mean? The ink you used the other day, was it just ink like the one you use in fountain pens? Yep, it's the same. See here, it tells you what you can use it in. Airbrush, I don't know what that means. Anyways, paint. You can fill a paint pen with it. You can use it in a, a calligraphy pen or a regular nib pen. I wonder if that's anything like that Dr. PH or whatever. I believe it is. Is it? Yeah. yeah. And like the Bombay ink? Yes. Yes. Same stuff? Yep. Just different, less expensive brand. I'm all about saving money. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Boy, I'm, you can tell I'm not a hair doer here. <laughs>
Lori, you remember the um, dragon's eggs the other day? <laughs> Inside joke. Sorry if you're on, Lori. All right, I'm going to pull a little green in. And this is just me. You guys can do, you know, <laughs> you guys can do you. Hi, Matt. It's getting serious. We all got quiet. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm me. I I'm concentrating. Too. Me too. <laughs> I don't think the Dr. PH is acrylic in it. I'm not sure. Yeah. I was looking at PH one time. Uh, I was looking into getting it, but I never did because it's kind of pricey. Hmm, I thought it was. I'm sorry. It it may totally not be. Sorry about that if I had that wrong. Who is that talking to me? Oh. Thank you, Jennifer. I did not know. Though I did think that. What are they if they're not acrylic? What kind of ink are they? They're like, I don't know. I was looking at them because they were supposed to be color fast. And I was looking at something um, in place of alcohol ink, I think, that I could use that would sort of give the same illusion. Mm. without fading so quick in the sun. So for it to be color fast, it's the, the star system right here, right? So this has three. Yeah. And it's fully opaque. So this one's color fast. You guys think of my crazy hair. <laughs> We'd be crazy. Right. And then I'm just going to take that wash, like the same color that's on my brush right now, and just make it really sheer and just do a wash of it in the tail. What are we washing? <laughs> <laughs> my floors, didn't you? <laughs> you coming over? We're going to wash my floors, Katie. <laughs> You're using your hair color in your tail? I mean, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. I'm just using uh, the wash, you know, like when you rinse your brush and then you have a little left in it. Yeah. Yeah, that in my tail on the tail in your tail <laughs> wanda has a tail <laughs> <laughs> hey delia did i say it right delia delia's here hey, delia. she said i tell you so i it's delia 
Vidalia, Vidalia. All right. Perfection. Pretty, Katie. I like your hair. Thank you. All right, you guys ready to see my secret message? Bom, bom, bom. This is boom. See it? Katie, look. Oh yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> Tip, don't watch these live. These live ladies with a mouthful of coffee. <laughs> so the word for today is hope, right? Yes. Yeah. So anyways, if you want to have fun with your kids or your cat, whatever, your cat will be like having one of those expressions. What just happened? <laughs> These are pretty smart, you know. <laughs> What's next, Wanda Woo? Um, let's do the background. Or should we wait until all the way at the end for the background? Yeah, I think we should wait. You're right. We gotta do some curing, and while that's doing, then we're doing the other, right? Right. Okay, guys, here we go. Fun stuff, I think. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm just going to clean my ink here real quick. So that hopefully the silicone will release my mermaid skin. Top coat. I'm using a beetle bottle, but this is not beetles. It's Delixir. I love beetles top coat. I just bought a refill that's not beetles. So this is what's in my bottle. So ignore the bottle, okay? <laughs> oh wait, I need um, gloves. I forgot gloves. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna use it out of this because we're gonna be using a little bit here. <laughs> okay, you ready to freak out? So much fun. <laughs> Yay, we get to play in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So basically, <clears throat> I'm going to make extra, I'm making this extra big. We I don't, don't have Jelixer. It's okay. Whatever top coat will work. It just needs to be UV cured. Yeah, this isn't working. The toothpick idea is not good. <laughs> That's not solid. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing a nail brush because they're made to work with UV products. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, don't fight against it, okay? Just use the things that you're supposed to use. <laughs> Do we lose sound or are we good? I'm good. Okay. I'm having to really concentrate on this one because you've practiced this stuff already and I haven't. Only once earlier <laughs> with you on the phone. But I watched Lonnie do it. Thank you, Lonnie. Yes, so. thank you, Lonnie. I didn't see it, but she showed me. Okay, then let it just like kind of settle just a little bit, okay? I'm going to clean the brush with alcohol. Yeah, don't put the alcohol in the gel. <laughs> We're top coating the silicone mat. Yep. <laughs> Not the table. 
<laughs> it's silicone. It'll lift right off it in theory, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're going to want to have your light ready. I'm using the big one because I'm making a bigger, uh, bot, a bigger mess. <laughs> So Katie, I did cut a bigger piece of the mesh. You weren't on yet. Um, I don't know how, if you cut any yet, but I cut a bigger yeah. piece. I figured out it's easier to go way bigger than it is to try to make it fit the space. So, and then stretch it out, but don't, you know, stretch it out to however you want your scales to look. So I kind of want mine in between ish. You're using your big light? Uh, yeah, because I made a big spot. If you if yours will fit under your little light, that's totally fine. But I'm using I make an extra for because I'm doing another rock later. Oh, okay. I'm just um, warming up the mat here because it's kind of wrinkled from being in the um, the ball. <laughs> Here's that. my piece. I think it's pretty big. Okay, cool. So once you have it, you know, sort of ready to go. Yeah. Stick it in there. <laughs> Put it in the pile. This is probably the hardest part. Again, getting it to... Oh, shoot. I ripped it. Operate. Cut operate. So I'm going to grab something to weight it down over here. Four corners. I need some heavier stuff. Okay. Ink. So you want it to be in, in the top coat. Make sure you're wearing gloves, okay? Lonnie, are you like, nope, that's not what I did. <laughs> oh, she used tape. Yeah. I couldn't make it stick to my silicone. I tried. It just kept peeling right up. So I was trying to do it different. Anyways, this is me being silly. So I'm going to make it adhere with my light and then I'll move the big light on it with my little torch light. You can use your little six watt to do this too. Just, you know, move it around on top of your gel. Because it'll catch in a few seconds. Just push it down in there. Thanks, Lonnie. Tape's way, way gooder. A gooder. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, there's a reason I said that. <laughs> I promised you my kids probably out there laughing. Oh my gosh. We have this dinner time thing about, he, he read this book called Friendle. If you guys, it's like fourth grade, fifth grade reading. <laughs> Anyways, it has the word gooder in it. So I got to watch myself because I picked it up. It's kind of a slang. <laughs> okay, so that is down. You already done? Good grief, sister. What? <laughs> She's like, you're done. <laughs> She's fast. <laughs> now I can move all these things and put my light on it just for 30 seconds. The weights didn't really hold it down though. It's still like buckled up. I got to figure out. That's why I used a little bit of the um did you get tape to work? I didn't look. I no, I used a little bit of the light 
and I just mm. yeah that's what I got to make it work too I use the light and it you know it grabs it okay so you saw Katie so when you're done just pull, pull it out and it should be Lonnie did yours get like stuck in it <laughs> last time earlier today like my actual mesh became part of the yeah they're doing it again and it was I think it's because I have too much top coat but I think I have enough to do the tail so yeah it doesn't take very much if you get too much then the, the mesh will become part of the the skin that you're making so basically you're making fish skin and then it peels right up off of the mat see that isn't that cool all right clean up little area And I'm not going to worry about picking this all off right now. I just want any wet spots up so I don't have an allergy to them later. Okay. We bring the lady back. So now we have this fabulous fish skin. Love it. And we're going to trace around her tail. And I'm going to try to see inside the black, okay? That way I can, it'll blend in and I can cut around the outside. And you just need an idea of where to cut. So. What are you using to mark it with? Micron. I don't, it's just what I had out here, sitting out here. It doesn't have to be Micron. Um, it doesn't even have to be like permanent, just something that you can see. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And then cut it out. And I'm going to go around the outside of the black that I just cut, just a smidge. Better to be over than to be under. If you have to trim some more, that's uh, easy, easy peasy, right? Are we gonna put that powder on her tail? Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. First. Yes, we're gonna do it first. Thank you. I would have messed that up just now. So we are going to put some top coat on the tail not this but this down here the black where you painted her black and we're going to chrome it so however you want to do that we're just using the shell powders but if you want to use the Ferrano full chrome whatever you have eyeshadow works totally I have some right here too. like see the eyeshadows these work totally just fine I just made fish skin. Yay! See, and I have leftovers so I can make lots of, I can make lots more weird mermaids. <laughs> Let me see here if I can show you this eyeshadow real quick. While Miss Katie's cutting. Ah, It's so brittle, like it's, I gotta be so careful. Is it brittle? Oh no. Mine's brittle. You can use Mr. Resin if it's too brittle. We'll wait, won't we? Because we are facing, we, we can do it, guys. Anyways, the eyeshadow you can use. This is just uh, some eyeshadow that I have from a discontinued box at the store. See there, it crumbs it too with the eyeshadow. It's not as chrome as that but it still chromes it so if you do not have chrome powder and you have a little eyeshadow laying around grab it it needs to be metallic though 
the little point came off, but I think I can put it on there. Yeah. Separately. That looks good. Yeah. I can see. I can't see the point, but I like the way it looks on your thing. Okay, I'm going to add the top coat here onto my. And I do have some left over that I'm going to save just in case. Yeah. I'm going to get That's a little disposable eyeliner brush to do around the corners. I'm just putting down some top coat quickly here. I got to clean my silicone mat real quick. Yeah. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you. Thank yes, you thanks for all your work with the links and the answering the questions. Take a bow, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> you can, Shay, and she would have used it tonight, used the Burano, but I don't have any and they're sold out. I didn't get any before they sold out. U.S. is out of Burano. I haven't seen it uh, anywhere else. There are others like it, but not the same colors. There's other companies that are selling similar chrome pens. I have not tried them, so I can't uh, say yay or nay. They look good, but that doesn't mean much, you know, until <laughs> you try it. Okay. Now what are you doing? Top coat. So we do the top coat before the powder? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might want to do a little test and see if your powder sticks to your top coat. I think it, which top coat do you have? SXE. It should, it should. But uh, I've noticed I'll lately some don't so if it doesn't then use um like a art nail art foil glue you need top coat's not tacky but it still works i don't know how or why anyways i'm going to give that a cure i'm going to test it on the silicone mat first okay look at her hair glow <laughs> okay. That's it, y'all. That is exactly what I said when she said they she couldn't believe they were sold out. And I said, Do you know how many people are on your YouTube? Over a thousand. I well, that <laughs> that's thank you guys. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thank you. I love you. Uh oh, there it is, Katie. That, that noise. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna get rid of it. Sorry. <laughs> supposed to be off but they sneak back in there so this is supposed to be green and blue but it looks green and gold I don't know I guess I'll do a little purple we'll do green and purple right because those colors always go together <laughs> no it doesn't look like it's sticking Wanda oh, no. okay I would use a uh, nail art foil glue then okay definitely so I'm just going to use my finger here. And this is the Born Pretty. And I'll get you the, the t uh, numbers on this in just a moment. And I'm just using my finger and kind of blending a little bit in the middle here. Ombre, right? Let me show you.
some green out here again. Let me cap it and I'll tell you. Thank you. Yep, that's a great idea, Lonnie. Thank you. I know you used the chrome on the top, right? We tried it earlier. For some reason, it didn't show up very well on the top. But these are number four and number seven. So I'm just going to dust off my uh, rock and another coat of top coat. We'll wait for Katie just for a minute. I think I'm going to glue on my, no, because we're going to seal later. Dude, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> What were you going to glue on? <laughs> the booby thing, but it's too big on my girl. <laughs> well, it's too big on mine too, but I'm going to go with it anyways, just to be extra. <laughs> Yay. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. But what color are we going to do the shells? No, the booby jewel. What shells? Wait, what? Oh, the, <laughs> wait, Julie, the breasticles. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe chrome. Do you want to do them chrome? You have that color, right? The um Do you want to do like a you have a silvery one? You said yeah. it was cool, right? Yeah. I think maybe that would be pretty, don't you think? Just clear? Like a silver color on the shelves? No? Sorry, I'm concentrating. Oh. Cool beans. You know I have OCD. <laughs> I'm good with it. I think I'm going to do them black, though, so that I can chrome them. Do you want to chrome them or paint them? We could paint but them. But then you'll lose the lines. No, You know what I mean? I have builder gel. Bon oh, bon you're going to builder <laughs> gel those? <laughs> yeah, like the tail. Yeah, we're going to be using some stuff, guys. If you don't have this, if you have rhinestone glue, if you've bought the rhinestone sets, it comes with rhinestone glue, that's builder gel. You can use that too. Or the other day, the other day, I used this five in one nail gel. It's also a builder gel, it's a blooming and builder. So basically, what we're looking for is something depth we want, we're making ridges ruffles we're making ruffles <laughs> the ruffles have ridges like this see the ridges we're doing that don't look at that that was my mock-up <laughs> she says <laughs> At least you're honest, darling. Oh, I think I might want to starfish there. I gotta get it off of the paper first. Hang on. I'm having to do a little fix, so just go on with. That won't work either. I was thinking of starfish, but that's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top coat on here. And it doesn't have to be a lot because we're just adhering the scales. I lost my alcohol. I'm going to go outside of my paint and lines just a bit so I can seal it to the rock because we're going to be using, we're going to be doing background too.
bunch of surprises tonight, huh? <laughs> And if you guys aren't, if you don't have the stuff to do the scales, you can look at this mermaid tail and stop right there because they're pretty just like that. You know what I mean? Pretty mermaid tails. Okay, then I'm going to pop my scales on there. My face. Pretty cool, huh? And give it a cure. I got it outside a little bit. Darn it. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to see if I can remove <clears throat> the ink with some alcohol. I got two little ink marks here. Yep. Takes it right off. Good to get it. So if you get your ink, You can just remove it with some alcohol. Just be careful because you're dealing with watercolor there. If you used watercolor. Or she can have a freckle. How's that? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Thank you, Bonnie. I love your tip. It worked wonderful. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> I love those eyes. Lori's watching close. Okay. Pretty Katie. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look at that tail. Do you want me to keep going? I'm trying to catch up. No, you're fine. I just wasn't sure. Do you want me to hold or go? Okay, what are, where are you at? I, I'm moving into the fins on the tail with the builder gel. I better wait, huh? You need to watch that one. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at these charms that we picked up at Walmart the other day. Katie and I were there and they come in these bags. Do it yourself charms and they're in the um jewelry department. So this one was like a bag of a whole bunch of different ones. And this one had these beach ones on it and they are um I gave Katie half and I took half. They were matched pairs. So you could totally make earrings out of them. Anyways, so there's comes with like, I'm totally off, sorry. <laughs> I'm showing, where am I showing? I'm showing the left side of my room. <sighs> anyway, aren't they pretty? Look at the fish with the stones. And, and then these other ones that came in the pack, there's so many cute ones. Look, there's- Okay, like, I got a question. Yes, ma'am. When you put the top coat on, you put that other stuff on it and then set it, or you put a coat of top coat and then set it and then another top coat and put I the did, net on. I just put top coat and then put the fish skin on and then okay. set it white. I haven't done anything else. No more top coat. I figured we could do that when we seal the rock. 
do the you know the top coat on the scales when we do the resin yeah no okay Hi, Betty. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to open this and get it ready. This is builder gel. Um, I think I put that. Yeah, I did. Uh, Julie, Karen is looking, if you're on Julie, Karen's looking for the link for the UV flashlight. I know Katie's tail is bad to the bone. <laughs> Love it. Um, no, I got a, what's that? This little edge right here didn't get some goo goo on it. You know what? From the camera, you can't even tell. How do you like my terms? Your goo goo. <laughs> it's a goo goo. <laughs> it didn't get the goo goo on it. <laughs> Care, Jennifer spit out the coffee. <laughs> um, I had gloves, and they'll they'll go back on at some point. That's why I'm using this. Don't worry, I already got the talk from Mama Wanda. Oh, belly button ring. You're so good, Deb. Yes, Mama what? I just heard Mama Wanda. <laughs> yep, Mama Wanda already gave me the talk about gloves. Yeah. What are you doing? Stuff. I don't see gloves. <laughs> I'm using the pusher. I'm not touching it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deb, I sent you a goodie today. Look, it says handmade. Oh, look, <laughs> handmade. How cute. There's so many cute ones in these little bags, you guys. Look, there was a turtle. Did you guys see it? Look. Okay, I got that piece down. Yay. All right. So for, you're gonna use your rhinestone glue? Yeah, Ooh, for or the brassiere. Uh, we're going to do the tail first. Okay. And if you like it, then we can do the brassiere. Okay. Okay. You can, if you don't um, want to use rhinestone glue, you can use nail foil glue to make the ridges. It They'll be shallower, but it's because I know you know how to work with that one, so it's up to you. But you're going to need a liner brush, something that's. Um, works with nail products. So a disposable eyeliner brush would work good. I like the longer ones for personal. In fact, I'm going to go a little longer. I'm going to up it. <laughs> And Builder Gel is thick. Can you guys see that? And if you want, you're going to want your, either your little six watt light 
or your flashlight, but you've got to be careful not to cure your gel. So it's going to be some maneuvering. <laughs> Builder gel is self-leveling. It is, but we're going to hit it fast because it's thick. <laughs> See how it gets all glassy, clear, self-leveling? Yeah, it is. You just, if you leave it alone long enough, it will go perfectly flat and glass. But we're not going to do that. We're going to hit it with the light while it's still mounted. So you're just putting it on the lines? Yep. Move it far enough away from your rock that you can work with the light, okay? Grab some. Wherever you put it down first, I'm moving my brush so it doesn't drip off. See how I'm keeping it going? So where I want to start is where I want the thickest part of the line. So I'm going to start by the tail, drop it, and then pull it out to where it's thinner at the tip. And then hit it with the right there. Don't don't cure your brush. Move your brush out of the way too. And you don't have to cure it all the way. Just just get it to where it stays up. Yep, good. You ready? Oh, you got girl, go girl. <laughs> Sorry, I'm behind. No You're not behind. I was trying to wait. I didn't know where you wanted to start it. I like texture in this whole, I'm kind of stuck in like a 3D mode. <laughs> but it's so cool, right? Or am I just nuts? Let me show you guys. We have a, a like a fin, right? You have a what? It's a fin now. Now you can see the definition in the tail fin. And it's builder gel. You can build it up, make it taller and taller and taller. That's what builder gel is. Oh my gosh, Allison, the best. <laughs> Allison bought single eyelashes for the dragon. Oh, you know what? I might have to do that. I owe somebody a dragon and I'm finishing it up this weekend. I think somebody's on with us. Do you want eyelashes on your dragon? <laughs> Such a good idea. Oh my gosh. How do you like it, Katie? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? I love it. I'm just trying to get this right. It takes a lot of concentration. It looks perfect to me. You're doing great. 
Are you going to do the little wavy part right here or just the lines? Like at I'm the end do, of the tail? Yeah, I'm going to go around the outside. Or do you think we shouldn't? I don't know. What do you think? I have some weird interference. Can you guys, hopefully that's not transferring to the speaker. I get feedback on my end, like screeching. Katie, do you want to do the outside of it or do you think we should? Not. Jennifer said she would leave them thin. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. See? But I think I want to do the very outside, though, like just this outside one, not the, not the bottoms, but this outside over here. Oh, yeah, I did the outside ones. Oh, okay. Now, what are you cleaning this stuff off of your brush with? Alcohol. With alcohol? Mm -hmm. And you have to separate the bristles. I'll show you guys how to proper clean. And you're going to be like, oh my God, it's going to break my brush. Your brush, if you're using a nail brush, they're made for it. Okay. Okay, so since that's done. Make sure you cap your stuff. I'm just wiping off the excess first. <clears throat> and then you want to separate your brush bristles. Can you see that? That's how you get down there close to the ferrule to get the gel out of there. Dry it off, make sure you reform it. And you should keep the caps. I know. <laughs> I might be the only one who does that. But you should keep them so that nothing gets let you know bends them. Because they're very fragile. These are I do Julia gave you a link for this big set that I got, this new big set. They have dotting tools on one end. And all these beautiful brushes. They're great. Oh my gosh, I love them. This is a great set. I love the Bote Galleria, but these are even finer. And it comes with some extra brushes and that puffy other brush <laughs> that I don't know what to do with. This one. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> See you. All right. So now we're just going to rub a little bit of the chrome powder on those bumps that we just made. And which color are you rubbing? Um, I don't think it really matters because it's not black black so it's just going to give it an essence you know what I mean I'll use this green one and it should feel real sticky that's normal we're going to be curing it more in a little while Ooh, you can rub this right on top and then turn the top of your scales a little lighter, Katie. Oops, I didn't put it in the shot. I'm sorry. There we go again. <laughs> so I just rubbed it on there. You did green. Yep. The same one I used on my tail. I'm just going to pop just a little on the top of the fishy scales. It doesn't mean, it doesn't change it too much. So. I just wanted to see. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Gorgeous, Katie. You guys, isn't this one so much fun? <laughs> They're all so much fun. But I'm like totally the mermaid girl. <laughs> like mermaid skin. <laughs> oh, Katie, I love yours so much more than mine. <laughs> Your skin, your skin, your tail, so bright, beautiful. I'm just wondering if I needed more color in between the lines. On your tail? Yeah. Oh, I made mine thicker. I think that's what you're saying, right? Yeah. So I um, feel like I need color in between the lines. Okay, when we're doing the background, you can grab your ink tint and add some in there. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Are we ready? We need to do the brassiere. So do you want to use that or do we want to just paint it with our pencils? Um, yeah, why don't we just do watercolor? Okay, cool. I do want to, when we're doing top coat, add a few fishy scales just in here a bit and at the tip of the tail down here. So yeah, we, have we haven't done that yet. Yeah, I think scale. I'm gonna wait until we top coat to do it. That way we can do it all at once, you know, cure it all together. Uh, unless you want to do it now, that's fine. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna move into the background. And this, you guys, is super duper easy. Bringing out the big guns. <laughs> the pencils. <laughs> Yay. These are King Art wat Woodless watercolors that I'm using. In a 24 set, and I'm using the back, the back panel. I'm staying in all these shades right here because I'm doing a rock, the ocean, and the sky. So these are my colors. And I'm not going to go over each color. It's just the entire back palette, except for I'm not using the purple, but all of these I am using. Maybe. Not that rain one. Maybe. So you're going to want to have a little bit of water, your water brush, or a brush, a round brush. And your pencil. You don't have to use pencils. You can use regular watercolor pan. Regular watercolors. You can use Crayola watercolors. They're any of that will work. So I'm gonna color my background. So I have basically a horizon here. So I'm gonna put a line there. Can you guys see that? So I have this separation here, okay? This is the water, this is the rock, and that's the sky. So I'm gonna scratch in the water with this uh, Delft blue. I guess I am gonna give you some colors. <laughs> Is anybody doing this with us? I just see links upon links. I know. You guys are crazy shoppers. Come on. <laughs> that, you know what that means? That means they're going to be doing it. Right? And then we're going to see lots of mermaids posted, right? Yeah. Right? I hope so. Sure we, did see, we did see a lot of um, peace signs. Yes, we did. Hey. Hi, Joan. 
Yay, thank you. Love it, thanks. So I'm using the Kingfisher Blue in this kanoni. So we're coloring like we're fifth grade. Love it. It's so fun. Easy peasy, right? Then I'm going to add some messy. No. <laughs> this is turquoise green into my water. So, you know, bits here and there. Around my rock, I'm going to do uh, black right around a mermaid, kind of shadow, right? Mermaid shadow. This is burnt umber. And gray or slate. Sorry, you gotta put some slate on the slate, right? <laughs> okay, now. Keep those colors handy because you're probably going to need them again. Hi, Bambi. <laughs> okay, that uh, cup of water and also the pencil. I'm going to start in the ocean so I can definitely have my horizon line here. I'm going to start in the water. I love watercolor pencils because literally you can do some fantastic artwork in minutes. And pink pencils are the ink tents, and they're the, they're actual uh, solid ink. They're sorry, I didn't explain what I was using. My bad. No worries, then. <laughs> they're amazing pencils. So they're ink tents. So they're. It doesn't take much. They're color fast. Super bright. I might have needed oxygen before I started. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was watching what, what 
she was saying does it sound like anyone's breathing oxygen oh it's when you turn it's some feedback i don't know what that is but yeah it does sound like that it's like <laughs> how is you turning your rock do it again nope it's not <laughs> i don't know what it is Look, i am your father <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. just as like interference maybe yeah I somehow think... mm -hmm. it's facebook sorry facebook but <laughs> it doesn't happen on youtube <laughs> all right so i'm going to go into the sky katie's like all kinds of ahead of me yay go girl there's a big one what is that noise I'm not hearing it. Huh. I hear it definitely. I'm just making like some little not not bright clouds, but just making it look a little cloudy in the sky. But just to give it a different tonal difference. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I can't show you my package because I um, put them in something else. And I don't know that, I don't think I saved the can. They're ink tints. Um, I had the 72 pack, I think. But they're Derwent ink tints. They're kind of pricey. I didn't take out anything for my rock. For your what? I didn't take out any colors for my rock. Oh. You did black and what else? Black, umber, brown, and slate. Or raw umber, sorry. I have this. Let me move my rock for a minute and show y'all. I got this really cool holder on... Uh, so big you can't see it on amazon but it holds all my pencils see so cool and then over here i have gel pens more gel pens and then my tulies i just have a small pack of tulies and then i have some the small poskas the one mrs are the only ones that'll fit in this and then some random pins that I had bought and tried. But uh, they have several designs. I chose the stars, of course. Okay. The problem with the tin is that I kept dropping it and having to pick up all those pencils, 72 pencils <laughs> every single time. That's so awful. I was like, forget it. We're done. And, <laughs> and you know how you someone got it and then they posted a picture that they got it and I was like, <gasps> that's what I need. <laughs> and the rest is history. So I'm using a Q-tip like, that's what you did on your clouds, right? Yeah we're removing the pigment basically to make the cloud formations so it looks like some people have the ink tints because they're talking about dropping them and stuff mm -hmm. so we so we so you can see the clouds in the background now the one in mars fit in there julie 
and all the gel pins and stuff fit in there really nicely. Okay, I'm going to hit this with some water. Although, I'll put my board, did I put my brush? <laughs> I'm losing things. Okay, I got to do my rock. I'm going to hit my rock. Did you say you were going to hit your rock? I'm I'm not hitting it. I promise. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not beating it up. It's no rock is being <laughs> here today. It just hit me what you said. It hit you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make some little crevices in this rock with some black. <laughs> yeah you're probably right shay they i'm sure they had a increase of cells because one person posted it so they were making them like crazy and they could have been all just however they threw it together because we be some crazy shoppers. Everyone's getting an A-plus on shopping. Boy, ain't that the truth. <laughs> okay. Now, I think I'm going to take my violet, I still have that one over here, and I'm going to put a little bit on the tail. That'll be pretty. Yeah, I like that better. I know, I was freaking out. But y'all don't understand, I was like really freaking out over making that fish skin. When I first saw her do it, it just blew my mind. It was a pretty cool uh, nice shortcut to get to the fish skin 
that I saw on YouTube. I got to find that nail technician video. It's in German though. So <laughs> I watched it in German. I don't speak German. <laughs> I just watched it. <laughs> Okay, I gotta stop for a minute and be stuck on these rocks. You gotta what? Walk away from the art. <laughs> you know? You never know yeah. when you're done arting. I think I'm done arting with that. And done arting with the rock. Does it even look like a rock or a big muddy mess? Yes, it looks like a rock. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, what what were you gonna put as her belly button ring? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what, did you do the what did you do the brazier? I didn't do my brazier. I just did it. The purple color, the deep violet. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So do something that matches yours. My whole thing blends together. Her hair and the sea and the. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking I might just do a colored rhinestone or something. Or maybe. Yeah. Maybe just a little. What you doodle. <laughs> is that too big that's too big where well i took it off oh okay do you think if we stuck a starfish in there i have little bitty gold ones in her belly button <laughs> I don't know if I like the jewel. Let me see what I have in this little thing. You have pearl flat back. Do I have what? Pearl, pearl flat back. back? Yeah, but they're big. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> look at that. Look at that honker. <laughs> well, where? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it takes up half her belly. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Don't you have these little ones, Katie? Look at this um, bold starfish. Looks pretty cute there. Dude, I gave those to you. You did? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Katie Thompson. <laughs> well, in the picture, there's some like stuff in her hair, you know, like stars and um, shells and stuff. I didn't see a fork, so. <laughs> um, hold on just a second. Excuse my yelling. He's coming. My mother in law is banging on her wall. Looks like a hernia. Wait, who's? <laughs> Holy cow. Wrong. Thank you, Allison, for reminding me about her earring. Oh, I missed her hair flips in the back, too. My word, how can I miss these things? Well, I don't know what to put in her belly. How about a little piece of glitter? You know the hexagonal? Mm. 
Lucy, are you listening to me? Do what? <laughs> are you listening to me? Yeah. How about the hexagonal? On her belly button? Yeah. The one that I'm going to put on her tail? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it doesn't even show up. It doesn't? Mm -mm. It's like see-through. I, uh, Julie, I have these. Nah, I don't like those there. What? Oh. Why was she knocking so hard? <clears throat> okay. The, uh, let's see. Oh, I want to do it. <laughs> okay. Put some of mine in there. Let's see. A teal one? Sure. I didn't see your. I didn't see your list. Your list. Your. <laughs> I can't even talk. I don't know where it went. It fell in there somewhere. <laughs> Where'd it go? Looks like a mole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. This is too funny. Mm hmm. <laughs> So I'm just spreading a few of these around her. Uh, her no area. fears. I don't have stars. I'm sorry. You gave them to me, apparently. <laughs> that, is that better? You didn't like gold, right? <laughs> yes. Beauty. Who's blowing us up with hearts? Hi, Kathy. Love you guys. Yay. So I don't think I have anything that has stars. Um, what else can we use? We have so much stuff. We got to find something, huh? This is one of the links too. This is separate. This is bigger than the other stuff I was using. Love these. Oh my gosh, these fish flakes. <laughs> okay, I got to stop with fish flakes too. But look. You guys like your fish plates? You're ahead of me. How did I get ahead of you? Because I was looking for something for her belly button. Ah. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Huh? Kathy's asking, what new magical things do you have tonight? Oh, well, ev just about everything. <laughs> Uh-huh. No. Actually, the only new thing that I use tonight, the only actual new thing is the builder dough and the mesh. <laughs> Everything else I had here. Well, okay, I got the fish flakes, the bigger size in, but I had the other ones. You know, I got these in, but I had the I don't even know where I put them. Um, I put them out of my memory. I had these smaller size ones, which are gorgeous. I should pop some of those in there too. But I just could see. Oh, I'm going to. They're so pretty. <laughs> I can't stand it, you guys. I see glitter and I have to touch it. <laughs> touch. <laughs> oh, pretty, Katie, pretty.
Wow, that noise or something. It's like a um, wind, like a train or something. You got a fan going? No? Huh? Do you have a fan on or something? It's, I can't figure out what the noise is. It's, yeah, I've had a fan going. I could. No, no. I don't, it probably isn't that. I'm just saying that maybe a fan or a train going by or what? <laughs> The train going by, probably. <laughs> right. Okay, we have what, what can I do with her ear? Do you have, how big are your pearls? You said they were huge. Would it be too big yeah. for a pearl? Yeah, I drew in the star. So honestly, I think I can just. Yeah, do some glitterific on it or something. I'm just having trouble finding my gold. <laughs> I think I'm going to hit mine with top coat, my her skirt, and we're going to, okay. What's that called? Uh, uh, Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you're putting top coat? Yeah, I'm just floating it a little bit. Not too much because the, the scales will disappear if you try to fill it in, you know? Oh, that just blended in with her face. Is that better? Yes, beautiful. No, the sound. Oh, I thought you were talking about her. Did you change her ear? Because it looks different. All I did was paint gold, but it blends in with her I mean, face. I think it looks good. I'm trying to find a glitter to put. Maybe just put like a blue stone in the middle of it or something. Okay, if you top coat the scales, be super careful because I've done it before and they didn't disappear, but this time they were trying to. See up at the top, they kind of are trying to disappear. <laughs> so go very light handed with it if you're going to seal it again with top coat. Like if you're putting stuff in it like I just did, do it super light handedly. Or put little dots of top coat and then Thanks do it. Thanks for checking the door, babe. Yeah. My, my, wait, whoa, who's spending 162? Stop it, you guys. <laughs> You're killing me, peoples. Are you going to do resin, Katie? I don't know. I'm so far behind. No, you're not. How are you behind? You have all the hair decorated. I don't. No, I'm, I don't. I, look. I just I haven't it done there. the tail yet. I just sat it there. Oh. <laughs> just sitting there. No, nothing's done. I'm waiting on you, girl. No worries. No, there, it's not decorated. I was, I don't know what we're doing. I wanted to do it with like either the resin or the top coat.
I'm painting my stars in. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and seal mine down just a bit. Okay. That way they don't take off when we do seal. We're going to have to spray, huh? I just thought about that. It's watercolor. <laughs> off of there. What are you using to seal? Just top coat or? No, I, I don't know. Maybe, re I think resin this time. What do you want to use, top coat or resin? No, I mean to do, your, to do your stars. Oh, just a little top coat. I'm just putting a dab underneath them. Okay. Are you ready for the light show, guys? Look, Flores, look at those eyes. Ooh, mermaid eyes are awesome, huh? Fluorescent mermaid. Now, the white, uh, these right here, the white color, which is clear, you know, our secret ink. <laughs> Lordy. You can write messages in your rocks. See, Hope, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to write a message in my rock. Right, see, you can see it when you shine. Look at that. It's not there unless you. That's cool. <laughs> and I'm going to put some waves in here. Because it's, what is that called? Blue tide? <laughs> when the, uh. Is it plank algae is all fluoresced? Is it a sunset? Should we make it nighttime with some stars in the sky? I think I want a bird in the sky, not not an invisible one, but a real one. It's got some stars in there. Red tide, yeah. Red tide, does it glow at night though? Our, on the west coast, we have that um, blue tide at night where it all lights up. I think it's, it's not all the time, it's every few years or so. I'm all, we, I was born in California. I live in Texas, I'm a transplant. They don't claim me either. They say, if you're not born Texan, you just wanna be a Texan, right Katie? <laughs> Well, I was born Texan, and I would um, love to be a Californian. Oh, hey, I like you. Thank you. But I've, I've been here lo longer than I was there, <laughs> so uh, I sound more like I was from here than there. So when I go back there, they think I'm confused. 
they're <laughs> like, where, where do you think you're from? Okay. Sorry, Nisi, I knew that. I was more talking about the glowing tide. Phosphorescence. I think it's called blue tide. I can't look it up right at the moment, but it's beautiful. You guys look at pictures of the glowing waves of the Pacific Ocean. Phosphorus tide. Cindy, Cindy. So what should I seal this with, this whole thing? I'm gonna run and do a quick, okay? Spray real fast. Okay. For five seconds. I mean, I'll be back in 25, but. And y'all are left with me, where I'm still decorating the till. I have never gone grunion hunting, but I've gone cow tipping. I love how fast rust -oleum dries. It's insane, huh? Snipe hunting. I don't know what I missed, but oh boy. Yes. My, my cousins had me convinced. <laughs> I told them that I feet. I told them that I haven't done uh grunion hunting, but I've done cow tipping. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> I grew up on a horse farm, so that was like a rite of passage. <laughs> yep. Okay, lights are so ready. I'm sorry, that wasn't very good English either. Lights are ready. Top coat or resin, guys? Uh, let's see. Lonnie, this is for you. <laughs> she always yelled at me, sign it, sign it, sign it. I don't know where though, where should I sign it? Right here, I think. I like my mermaid. Resin. I got to vote on resin. I'm going to do resin tonight. I, I got oh, no. My I rhinestone have... just flew off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get another one. Is it rhinestone or? Huh? Is it the belly button rhinestone? <laughs> yeah, I went to put it on and it just flew off. <laughs> Let's see if the resin disappears the um, scales. I'm going to be very careful around them. I'm going to do the tail part.
So Katie, since you're a, not a watercolor person, what is your honest opinion about using watercolor for skin? Um, I liked it. You know, it's a lot like um, doing, using the alcohol ink markers. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like that, but except that the colors are already made, but it comes out a lot, looking a lot like this. Okay, when you're using them like in coloring pages and stuff? Yeah. Cool. I like that look. It's definitely um, more of a coloring book look than it is a like for real skin look, I guess. Does that make any sense? Yeah, and I showed one of my pictures to Lori that I've done with the alcohol ink and uh, it looks a lot like this. So. So not bad then, not too hard? Yeah, no. That's why I kind of knew where to go with it because I had already been doing that with my alcohol ink and it's sort of the same method. Okay. Yeah, the scales sort of disappear a little bit, but they're still definitely still there, just uh, not as defined. So next time what I would do different is not touch them after um after making them you know what i mean no more top coats or no nothing on top of them so should i just leave mine with with yes. top coat yeah just leave it just like it is <laughs> don't put okay. nothing on it yours are perfect mine are a mess over here <laughs> yeah Yeah. My resin's all weird too. Is it humid today? I didn't even think of that. Oh yes, girl. God, my resin's all fish eyes everywhere. Warm it up. Let me hit it quick and have to do a second coat. <laughs> wow. It's okay. You can come out, please. No worries, everybody. Good night, Joan. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Uh, Karen, the watercolor usually will stay put when you use UV resin. It will move sometimes if you try to use regular two-part on it. But since we had so many different mediums on here, I wanted to just spray it just to be cautious, <laughs> you know, because there's watercolor, watercolor pencil, and then we've got the nail products also. So, but uh, it might not be necessary. I don't know. It's a precautionary. The ink tints doesn't have to be sprayed necessarily if you get all the ink, but I don't know about this homemade uh, neon <laughs> color. The homemade stuff is pretty good. It doesn't usually move. Like my purple lady hair that I did, I didn't spray her, I don't think. Well, I tried to wet it and uh, get it to move a little bit and it wouldn't, so I had to wet a brush to fix a couple of little spots I needed to fix. In her hair? Yeah. That's a good sign, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I don't think it's gonna move too much. Go on to paint. <laughs>
Yep, it's going to have to have two coats of resin to get rid of the fish eyes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, Lori. I'm so glad. She had a baby. Look at Katie's. There's the baby. <laughs> My purple lady and, and the dragon, they were friendly with each other and they laid some eggs at Lori's house. <laughs> <laughs> and your your mermaid looks like a pretty daughter. <laughs> what are fish eyes? I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, so when you're working with resin, and sometimes you get these, see these like divots and it's where the resin moves off of your work. Yeah. So those are called fish eyes and they're mainly in here. And that's a scrape from me, my ding dong. Oh, sorry. Yeah, these are fish eyes in here. <laughs> it's kind of a mess the tail eh. all right i'm gonna go ahead and do another coat of resin but i'm gonna go at it differently this time um, i hate it but i'm gonna use my fingers Right now I'm cleaning my brush in the machine, if you're wondering what I'm doing here. That's how you clean your silicone brushes. Just pop them in the light and then it just peels right off. Magic. Right. It just peels right off like magic. Okay, second coat. <laughs> second time's a charm, right? Goodbye, Julie. Thank you. Julie, thank you so much. Good night. Good night, Jennifer. Night, Jennifer. <laughs> I can't wait to see y'all's rock. Night, Nisi. Gosh, you guys are so awesome. You hung in there. Thank you. I got some bubbles. Oh my gosh, this resin is killing me. I might actually have to give it to you, Katie, to do a two part. <laughs> Which resin are you using? Oh, wait, I think it's getting better. It's Mr. Resin. But oh, I don't really? know if it's something I'm doing or if my house is too humid or what. Actually, I'm going to move it again. Just give it another little. And hit it fast. <laughs> oh, 
I think that might be okay. I'm just so glad that I sort of accomplished it. You sort of? Girl, you did good. <laughs> what do you mean, sort of? Well, absolutely beautiful. Would y'all tell her she's beautiful? <laughs> I don't know. I I wish I had done this a little different. The tail, the end of the tail. But I think it looks absolutely stunning. I actually like it with the less color in there because it does look transparent. I love it. Thanks, Lori. Thank y'all. That's not, I'm, okay. It's not a pity. I love her. <laughs> I need some, um, I need some of those gold things that you have. I guess I need them back. <laughs> Indian giver. <laughs> Meanie. <laughs> no, how about, how about you, it's still, is it still your birthday month? It is. <laughs> Maybe there's another present in your future. <laughs> Fix that little star right there. It was a little fat. I will do my um, resin and show y'all what the final looks like later. When my husband's not in the room. Oh yeah, you don't want to do that there i think yours is awesome wanda thank you i'm a little disappointed in the the scale but can you lift it up closer to the camera yes see how they disappeared <laughs> yeah Thankfully, I put the hexagonals in there, so that helped a little, but yeah. You know what would have fixed that? If you had put a different color of iridescent on those. Yeah. Then they would at least still show up. Yeah. You know, I could still feel them, too. Maybe I should do it now. Like, no, it's just a mess now. <laughs> See? Blah, blah, blah. Yours is gorgeous, but don't fret because I think I can do another application seat because I made extra. Yeah. So I can just put another skirt on her. Marvy poo. <laughs> I think I'm not going to do it now. Maybe not. I won't do it on live, but are you done? Yeah, I'm just chilling. Oh, okay, I guess I'll be done too. All right, guys, that's it. That's all we got for you tonight. Do you think I should outline this rock a little? Mm. I noticed yours is a little outlined. It is? At the top oh, of your yeah, rock yeah. under her tail, like right here. Oh, yeah, I did that with the Posca. Okay. When I first lined everything. I just lined every single thing. <laughs> I wonder if I actually put, ooh, that wouldn't be a bad thing, huh? Put like mesh on her, like the actual mesh would give her some definition back in the tail. We learn together, ladies and gentlemen. So no top coat on it or no, no covering it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once you do that and that little bit to put the pieces in, that's it. That's it. Yep. So show. All right, guys, so uh, we should be back on next Friday. We're going to start doing this every Friday, right, Katie? 
as, yep. as much as we can. And um, you'll we'll see Wanda you. before me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll catch you. I'll catch you on YouTube. <laughs> And I'll be on um, the group too. So we shall see you guys again really soon. Thanks yes, for hanging out with us. I promised Lori um, a video on doing the joy. Oh yeah. So when I, as soon as I get a chance to do that, the cricket. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm trying to figure out how to film it on the computer while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Yes. That'd be good. Yeah. So once I figure that out. Too. <laughs> All righty, guys. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Y'all rock.